Hey guys, welcome to your Cancer versus All 12 Signs reading for May 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up, okay? So first, we're going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys in May, what's around you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect, and then we'll finish off the read with Cancer versus All 12 Signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. Just a quick note that these messages... This portion is not timestamped because these messages are so quick. Uh, if someone here uh, wants to timestamp it for me, you can feel free to do so. I would really appreciate that if you do. Uh, apply this to your own unique situations. Um, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, for the collective. Um, Cancer people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below support me on there too so tell me about um cancer what's surrounding cancer what does cancer need to know what can cancer expect for may 2024 for cancer for cancer for cancer for cancer king of cups and the queen of swords King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Could be a situation that you're at odds with someone here. Where I feel like you're not talking to this individual right now. You guys are not on the same page, okay? So, uh, you know, this could be someone, uh, you know, that you're romantically connected to or that you're romantically linked to. Yeah, someone here is definitely walking away from somebody, somebody here. Because I feel like someone here just can't emotionally invest into someone here um, that is not emotionally invested into them. I feel like there's a bit of a cat and mouse game when it comes to this situation here, Cancer. Uh, we have the Moon card, Cancer, Pisces, Energy, and the Nine of Cups here. So there is someone here that's fearing losing you because they see you as their wish fulfillment. But I feel like you're conquering your fears of being alone or being single, and I feel like you're stepping into your happiness here, Cancer. Okay, let's get one more here in the Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're that queen. I feel like you're cutting somebody out here. You're ending something with somebody here where I feel like this person has caused you a lot of pain and a lot of hurt. And I feel like in the situation that you've been dealing with this individual, I just feel like there's a lot of drama. Yeah, I just feel like you're just completely wounded by the situation here or just really traumatized here and just really disappointed. And I feel like this is kind of like the final straw that broke the camel's back here. And you feel like it's kind of like cancer. It's time to cut this person out because nothing is coming out of the situation. You know, things are not really going anywhere. You're feeling stuck, you know? So, you know, I do feel like you're trying to free yourself from the situation by walking away, okay? And I feel like you're not getting the attention that you're looking for in the situation that you're in. And I just feel like there's a lot of pain and a lot of hurt that has gone down here in the situation that you've been dealing with this person here, okay? So I see you moving on. I see you leveling up. I see you glowing up and reclaiming your power here, cancer. Okay, with the Empress. What else do we have here for Cancer? Tell them about Cancer versus all 12 signs. Cancer versus all 12 signs for May 2024. Just a reminder this portion is not time stamped. If you guys are looking, uh, if you guys can't, uh, would like to time stamp it for me, if time stamp it for me, you could free free to do so. I would really appreciate it because these messages are super, super, super fast, super quick. Okay. So, Cancer versus all 12 signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. Okay, so Cancer versus the Aries here with the Two of Wands here and the Five of Cups. This person made a wrong decision here. This person regrets the decision that they made here, okay? Seems like this person kept you as an option here. Uh, Cancer versus a Taurus here with the Six of Wands here and the Eight of Cups. Okay. I feel like uh, this Taurus is testing you. I feel like if this person walks away, this person is confident that you would chase them. Yeah. So, uh, Cancer versus a Gemini here with the King of Cups here and the Nine of Wands. Okay, um, this Gemini is in love with you, but I feel like this person is really guarded with their emotions here. Okay, Cancer versus a Cancer with the Page of Pentacles here and the Page of Swords. Okay, I just feel like this is an individual that's really curious about getting to know you here. I do feel like you are meeting this person perhaps for the first time. 
first few times here. You know, I feel like this person is just, you know, getting to know you here. You could be meeting this person off one of those dating apps. I do feel like you guys have some stuff in common here because I feel like you guys might work in the same industries here. Okay. Cancer versus a Leo here with the four pentacles here in the world. I feel like this person has nothing to give. Okay, or that, you know, this person feels like you have nothing to give and this connection could be ending because of that, okay? Um, Cancer versus a Virgo. We have the Three of Cups here and the King of Swords, okay? this uh, So this Virgo is enjoying getting to know you here. They love talking to you. You know, they're having a good time with you, uh, Cancer. Okay, Cancer versus a Libra here. We have the Eight of Wands here and the Six of Pentacles. Uh, this Libra has a lot to say or that you might find this Libra to be very, 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 very chatty here and you can't keep up with this individual. Okay, so uh, Cancer versus a Scorpio. We have the Ace of Wands here and the Knight of Cups. So this person finds you very attractive. This could be new love that's coming into your life here, Cancer. Okay, um, so, you know, I do feel like, you know, this Scorpio could have... Have, like multiple water placements in their chart other than Scorpio obviously Pisces and Cancer here okay uh, and I feel like this person is also very 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 just extremely romantic here and that they're sweeping you off your feet uh Cancer versus um a Sagittarius we have the Ten of Wands here and the Two of Swords this person has a decision to make here and you feel like this person is really overwhelmed by the decision that they have to make here. Uh, this person's carrying around a lot of burdens with them. I do feel like this person has a very, 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 very heavy mind. I feel like this person just thinks a lot and overthinks and overthinks and overthinks and doesn't really make any decisions here. So you could be waiting for this person to make a decision on you, but you know, perhaps you don't want to wait for this person and you're making a decision for them. All right. Uh, all right, Cancer versus the Capricorn. We have the Knight of Swords and we have the Temperance card. Okay, this person is definitely looking for your forgiveness here. You know, I feel like this person wants to talk to you. I do feel like this person is trying to, like, get you to regain their trust, okay? I do feel like this person is trying to make peace with you or that they're trying to balance things out here with you, okay? So I also feel like, you know, this person doesn't really come from a place of emotion, but they want to understand what is happening here, too. So if this person becomes dismissive of your experience, of your pain and your hurt... It doesn't have anything to do with you. This person comes from a very logical place here instead of a place of emotion, seeing your hurt, understanding your hurt here, you know? Um, so yeah, you know, you might have trouble with this Capricorn where you feel like this person doesn't see you when you express yourself. Uh, so Cancer versus Aquarius here with the King of Wands here and the Ace of Pentacles. This person wants commitment with you, okay? This person sees a future here with you. This person's also really attractive or is attracted to you and uh, the sex with this person in bed is really great. Uh, Cancer versus the Pisces here with the Eight of Swords here and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person is just overthinking things. Yeah, it seems like this person's like walking in eggshells with you because I feel like this person's scared to upset you or something like that. Uh, this person's like very hyper vigilant about upsetting people. Okay, so cancer i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye